So the purpose of this video is just to show a quick removal of a stator plate and flywheel to replace the original stator that didn't provide accessory lighting output and replacing with one that will. The first step is to remove your side cover and then use an impact wrench with a 14 millimeter socket to remove the flywheel which would require a flywheel pulling tool also. Next you're going to need an impact wrench with a JIS bit, Japanese International Standard bit. There's two screws on the stator plate that will need this impactor. Once the screws are loose, make sure that you gently pry up the plate. This is an example of what I'm replacing and what I'm taking out. Notice all the coils on the new one that were to provide electricity for the accessories. This is the back side of a plate once removed. You can see there's a seal that goes around the crank. You're also going to have two O-rings that are behind the plate. These are areas that can weep oil, so you want to make sure that those are in place when you're replacing the new stator plate. I also like to lean my bike over. I didn't take the oil out, and this is a wet area. So if I lay it over on its side, that will reduce any chance of oil spilling. This is just an example of what the flywheel looks like inside. There's your magnets. And then you're going to have your stator plate, which has the coil windings, and that is going to spin around those windings to create your electricity. Once putting your new plate on, gently tap around the circumference of the plate to put it in, embed it in place. And then you're going to use your impactor, put the flywheel on, hand screw it on, and then tighten it with the impactor 14 millimeter socket.